Today's design challenge is to design a spinning top on the 3D printer. The goal is to make it the most, to spin for the longest amount of time. The constraint is it's less than a cubic inch of ABS plastic. Three or four people in a team, all of you design together, but only print one top out. And then at the end, once everybody has a top, we're going to weigh the tops on a little scale, and we're going to time how long they spin for, and then the winning top will have spun the longest based on weight. So it's also weight dependent. It has to be within the volume of a cubic inch of ABS plastic, but when we have our spin off, we're going to weigh them and time them, and then it'll be whichever one spins the longest based on weight. Everybody understand the challenge? Okay. I have a few tools that I just want to show you before you start designing your tops. So here I did the challenge before with nuts and bolts. And here are like two examples. This one right here was a winning top versus this top right here was one of the slower tops or didn't spin very long. Okay. So before you start designing your top, what I'd like you to do is come and look at some of the other tops that have been made. And I have a couple of tools that are pretty interesting. This thing won't stop spinning. Um, so you, you probably want to use a caliper to figure out overall shaft, diameter, and height. You know, what's the optimum to hold on to. Um, thickness of the, of the top, thickness of the point. And then the other thing I have is a photo tachometer, which is pretty cool. And the tachometer measures how many revolutions per minute the top makes. So if you put this uh, metallic sticker on here and then spin it, then you could use a photo tachometer and measure how many revolutions per minute it goes around. That was 500 revolutions per minute. What are some of the variables that are going to affect how long the top spins for? Weight. Weight. You want weight on the outside, but we'll make it spin longer too. Yep. Any other variables that might be factors? Yeah, point. Uh, resistance can be a big one. Okay, so go ahead and get in with your team, design your tops, and then we'll have a spin-off. Step one is weighing. Here's our first top at 0.1 ounces. We have the spin-off. There's our first Dylan's top. Timing it. Get all the wobble. Speed bubble. And stop. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Flat. We have Dylan's team here weighing in at 0.1 ounces. Spun for 20 seconds, so time per weight is 200 seconds per ounce. Here we have Chris's teams. This is pretty interesting. Um, it was actually designed the opposite way. And the other thing that was interesting on this one is the way he wound it up was using the sides rather than the cent central shaft. Okay, we have Chris's team weighing in at 0.7 ounces with a time of 76 seconds. It spun a long time, but it weighed a lot. But time divided by weight is 108 seconds per ounce. So even though it spun a lot longer, it weighed a lot more and um, ended up not doing as well as Dylan's team. And it was a close to stay under that constraint of one cubic inch. Okay, here are all five teams up on the board. Over at Amy's, weighing in is a featherweight at 0.05, spinning pretty long, which actually works out to be 700 seconds per ounce. So maybe there's a correlation on weight. Uh, Riley, Sienna's, and on some of them we were able to calculate the RPM as well. We'll go ahead and put this in a Google spreadsheet so we could analyze the numbers a little bit more.